Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey, if anybody's new joining me here today, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty and often I like to use makeup in very unconventional ways. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate, it just means that's the kind of makeup I like to do on this channel. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. So today's makeup, um, it's a bit of a freestyle I think. I kind of have a rough idea of how I want the end makeup to look, but I'm not sure about colours and stuff. Um, I went to Danessa Marks's, yeah, I think that's how you'd say it, Danessa Marks's um, masterclass yesterday, and I just feel so inspired today. Um, one thing I took away from the masterclass was not being afraid to try new things because you're not sure of the end result. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and do, not try, I am going to do makeup in a way that is a little bit different to how I normally do it and try something new. I've got some really beautiful products that I picked up from the masterclass yesterday that I want to show you. No, this video is not sponsored. There's no ad. I'm not being paid. I just really like, I really dig her. She's such a cool, amazing woman. So um, I'm more than excited to share this tutorial with you. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my skin and I never ever use oil on my skin because I think it's gonna end up looking really greasy and Danessa always uses oils and I'm not doing this because I want to be like her per se. I just want to try something new. So we got given these in our little goodie bags yesterday. So I'm taking a Cosette S140, I'll show you the brush, it looks like this, it's a synthetic brush. And Danessa used this yesterday for her model, so I'm gonna try it today. So I'm just gonna paint this all over my skin. It smells incredible. Now I'm gonna go over it with my hands and just really massage it into the skin. I think if you use oils, it kind of makes sense that you use your hands to really work the product into the face. Now I'm using the 24 hour brow setter and I'm just going to brush up my brows. It's actually a really cool product because a lot of the time you use brow gels, they get a lot of the gel on your skin. This one doesn't seem to be doing that. Um, I should just let you know that Danessa developed these products for benefits, so it's probably why they're so cool. Struggling are done, good eyebrow done. So while that's setting, I'm now gonna move on to my skin. And I'm using the Illuminating Veil in Attraction and in Goddess. And I've just taken one pump of each, which I know is gonna be way too much for this look today, but I'm gonna mix them together with my finger. Then I'm gonna go back to the same Cosette brush and then just work this onto my skin. The look I'm gonna to create today is gonna to be really dewy and I'm also going to do quite a sheer um, coverage. And that's gonna be a bit of a challenge because the Vision Cream covers are super, super pigmented. I've been experimenting with them for a little while since I was sent them. And um, a little bit of product goes a long way. So, you know, they always say like, if you wanna know how to use something, ask the person who made it. You know, if your washing machine's broken, you refer to the manual, the man, you refer to the man, <laughs> let me get this out. You refer to the manufacturer's manual to find out what the problem is and how to fix it. So yesterday when I was watching Danessa, I was like, okay, she invented these products and she's gonna know how to use them best. And I noticed she never puts these products directly on the face. You know, like how I usually do foundation, I tap it on the skin and then blend it out. She never does that, she always goes in with a brush. So today I'm gonna try that method with the, with the Vision Cream cover and see how it goes. So. I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight on my chin. And I'm not gonna do any on my forehead because my forehead has its own special built-in highlighter. So um, I'm gonna avoid that area today. I'm gonna go back to the S140 brush again, the same brush I've used so far. And I'm using W5 in the Vision Cream Cover. Is that right or is it Cover Cream? Wait a second. Vision Cream Cover. And I'm just gonna start on the center of my face and start to work this product in. Then I'm gonna go into the W10, the same brush, and just use it on the lower half of my face and the edges because my face is a bit darker in these areas. Then 
that I'm taking a Real Techniques brush, the 203, and I'm just going to sculpt in here a little bit. And we all know I don't do nose contour, so I stop here. And just blend through. I'm going to use the same brush for my concealing. So I'm just using the same colour. And this is what's really cool about this product. You don't need separate foundation or concealer. You can just use it all over. So I'm going to buff that into my skin too. And just make sure that everything is really blended here. And I'm taking a tiny bit of the W3. I use this colour quite a lot now as my brightener for my concealer but I think the mistake that I was making before was just putting it straight on my face. After watching Danessa yesterday I realised that these products work easier if you use a brush to go in and then blend. Once again, just smooth everything out. Now I've got like a rough base on, I'm going to go into my brows and I'm using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and this is the first time I'm using it, but I, I, I like it. Ah, oh, that was easy. Okay, so I'm just using little strokes to fill in the gaps. Oh, that's really nice, okay. It's just an eyebrow pencil, right, but it just... It's not just an eyebrow pencil. So I've never used a brow pencil like this. Um, it is quite a dry formula, which is really nice because it deposits quite a lot of product. Um, the payoff is really strong. It's just a really easy brow pencil to use. Mm, okay. And you don't need a lot of pressure. You just need the lightest touch. And those hair, those brow hairs are in place like that basically is like hairspray in a tube for brows my brows aren't really like they're so disrespectful to brow gels but they're actually staying in place wow, i really like this pencil look at that really nice mm, okay I love, this is what I mean about me doing this. I really love learning new things. So yeah, that was pretty damn cool. Okay, now I'm happy with my brows. Actually, I'm really happy with my brows. This might be my new favorite brow pencil. It's weird, it's like every time I try a new brow pencil, I'm like, oh, this is now my favorite, but this one is really cool. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm using the Fire and Ice palette and the Female is Future palette, and I'm going to mixy mixy, um, mix the color together. I'll show you the colors I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use the blue and the green, I'm going to use the blue and the green from this palette and I'm going to use the white, icy white colour from this palette. So I'm going to mix these colours together on my hand first. So take some of the green, some of the blue. Oh, this is so nice. More green and then white. I'm going to Hmm. I'm going to put my finger on my eye. Wow. And then blend this colour in. Okay, it's gone really silver. But I think that's because I used the white colour on that finger last. So I'm going to go back to the colour that I pre-mixed. Yeah, that's better. And press that on. And these are waterproof creams, so you can use them. Like if you're doing underwater shoots and stuff like that, they stay in place, they don't move. I'm just going to blend the crease. Oh, that's nice. I never really wear colours like this, so I thought I'd give it a go today. And then I'm just really shearing it out in my crease and blending it higher. So this colour I'm using now is Steamy from MAC and I'm just pressing that all over. The brush I'm using is a dome shadow brush, I think. No, medium shadow brush from Real Techniques. And just pressing that all over the cream. Then I'm just taking a 224 and just literally working the edge. 
get my concealer brush and just clean up here. Then I'm going to use an in light powder from Danessa as well. It's called Aura of Tranquility. And just using that as an inner corner highlight. I'm going to pop some on the centre of my lid as well just to make it really jump out here. Next, I'm going with my mascara and I'm going to use my extended play, which is my favourite. Um, for anyone who's new, this is the first video watching, first video you're watching of mine, sorry, I always use, or I often use, um, two mascaras. I really love to use the extended play from MAC as like my priming mascara. And then I go over it with my In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. So I'm just going to work this in first and then use my In Extreme Dimension. I'm just going to run some cold pencil in my waterline as well. Okay, now we're going to move on to blush. I'm going to mix the colour, surprise, surprise, and I'm using a tiny bit of Bengal Tiger which is the orange um, liquid lipstick, a tiny bit of the Sephora Creamy Lip Stain in 08. Let's see what that's like together. Okay. Oh, that's a nice colour. I'm going to use a little bit of High Drama from MAC. And then a tiny bit of the White Vision Cream Cover And let's see what we make. Yeah. Oh, this is so pretty. That's the colour that it created. So, wow. <laughs> let's get, um, what brush is this? Who cares? This is a Duo Fibre Flat Brush from MAC and I'm just going to blend this in. Now that it's on, I feel like it's slightly too pastel and it needs a little bit more strength. So I'm just gonna mix a tiny bit more of pink and orange into it. So I've changed it now, it's a bit more like that color. And then I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of the Illuminating Veil in Attraction into that as well. So that's that color, this color here. And I'm just going to use that as a highlight. And just carry that underneath the brow bone as well. I'm going to go back to my foundation brush, take a little bit of the W5 and just work the edges of the blush. So it's not muddy, you know, I don't want it to be, I want the placement to be really strategic. And I feel like I kind of blended it too big so I'm just using this to rein it in then I'm gonna go back to the W10 and just sculpt out my cheekbones a bit with that okay so now I'm gonna move on to the lips I'm gonna use the chocolate uh, color fix from Danessa Myrick as my lip liner first I'm taking a number 26 brush from Stila and I'm just going to use that as like a lip pencil. Then I'm going to mix some of the Sephora number no. eight, the really bright pink into that and create a lip color. I'm running out of space, but it's uh, this colour here on my hand, if that shows up. You'll see it on my lip anyway. Yeah. Bingo. Oh, that is such a pretty colour. And then finally, I'm going to use a tiny bit of gloss. We got given this yesterday, but there's no name on the actual tube. I'm going to see if there's one on the box, and I'll put it in the description box um, for you guys, just to pop this on top. Hmm, that's pretty. Okay, 
Now I'm happy with all the colour products, I'm going to go in and just set everything. So, firstly I'm going to take my Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. I'm just going to go in and blend and make sure there's no creasing. And then set. Then I'm taking my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder and I'm just going to set the sides of my nose with this one. And the end of my nose. So I don't like the shiny nose. Use this on my chin. And on my forehead. And then I'm taking the Danessa Evolution Powder in 05. And I'm just going to use that for my forehead. Now I'm taking a clean brush with no products on and just working everything together. I'm taking Aura of Tranquility and Aura of Attraction, the In Light powders. And I've run out of space on the back of my hand, so now I'm using my palm. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a fan brush and Gently tap this over my cheekbone just to pop that highlight a little bit more. Okay, now I'm being really extra, but I think my lip line is a little bit too harsh on the top, so I'm just going to take a brush and just soften that a bit more. I'm going to go back to the colour that I mixed. Yeah, that's it. Much softer. So there you have it guys, this is my homage to Danessa. Um, this was a real, I say this in every video because it's actually true, but this was a really fun makeup to do to try new things. And um, my, I love how my skin looks. Um, even though I used oil underneath, which feels so alien to me, the finish of it is actually really pretty. And I think if you pick the right powders to set with, you can create a really dewy look. I'm really glad I chose such a bold, um, makeup because for the guys that have watched my channel for a while even though I haven't been on that long but for whoever's been there from day one um you know that my aesthetic is a much more like neutral palette and I'm trying to do new things so I thought of a color that I haven't really worn and I haven't worn this like really pale teal and I never really wear pink lips so I thought right I'm gonna do them both in one video and um, yeah it was really really fun I love are you tired of me saying that I love everything? But it's true. I really love these um, brow products. Yeah, my brows have stayed in place. This pencil is so, like, just, just try it yourself. You know, I'm not being paid by anyone to say what I'm, bloody my spike. Like it's a brow pencil, but the way it went on, and I love the finish of it because it isn't shiny, and some brow pencils are really glossy, and I hate shiny eyebrows. So um, I love that this gives a really natural, really natural matte look to the brow and the brow gel. Yeah, this is up there with my Illamasqua. You know my Illamasqua is my favourite at the moment because it stays. Um, this is actually waterproof as well. So that if your face got wet, your brows wouldn't, they'd stay in place. So that was really cool. Danessa is basically a makeup alchemist and I love her products. I love the fluidity and the mixability of them all. That is totally how I work. I mean, you guys have seen me use lipstick and lip gloss and eye pencil in all other weird places because I just love color and texture. And I love that she doesn't have rules in the sense that like, okay, this is an eyeshadow and it can only be used on the eye. And this is a lip product and it can only be used on the lip. I mean, I was never really that person anyway. I was always gonna break the rules, but the brand, and the, the way her brand has been curated really speaks to the mixologist in me. So yeah, I really love using her stuff. Um, 
that's it. I think I'm going to stop there because I could like ramble forever. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who stays to the end because I know my videos aren't the shortest but I'm trying to put up quality work so thank you for staying to the end. If you don't follow me already please have a look at my Instagram. I'll leave my handle for you here. I do live get ready with me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT and I put them up in my stories for the next 24 hours. If you can't join us live you can always catch it then. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.